Hello sports fans, welcome to Super Sports Central. Today we will be going over and recapping week one of the NFL 2021 season. So there was every single team played this weekend in opening weekend your opening week. Um starting off just in order of when the games happened. Starting off on Thursday night football, the Cowboys and the Buccaneers played a thriller. Um the Buccaneers one on a last second field goal. Um, Dak Prescott had a great game back, going 42 for 58 with 403 yards and three touchdowns. And two touchdowns, 13 completions, and 139 yards were all to Amari Cooper. So great games for both Dak Prescott and Amari Cooper. So Buccaneers beat the Cowboys in a very good game to open up the season, uh, 31-29. Sunday's games. So these are the early Sunday games, 1 o'clock Eastern. The Eagles beat the Falcons 32-6, to and Devontae Smith ca- caught his first NFL touchdown. Um, he was actually the game's leading receiver with six catches, 71 yards, and a touchdown. The Steelers upset the Bills 23-16. Um, Zach Moss did not play and was a healthy scratch, creating a lot of work for Devin Singletary. Singletary played 64 of 85 offensive snaps for the Bills. However, he only had 14 touches, 11 carries, 3 receptions. Um, he didn't have many carries because the Bills threw the ball 51 times trying to come back. And I do not think last season was a... One year wonder for Josh Allen. It's just he was going up against a really good Steelers defense. Um, the Steelers scored a touchdown on a blocked punt. And Najee Harris did not have a great NFL debut. He went 16 carries for 45 yards, only averaging 2.8 yards per carry. The Chargers beat the Washington football team 20-16. to Washington football team quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick left the game after only attempting six passes with a hip injury, and his injury was in the second quarter. Justin Herbert had a very strong game, 31 for 47, 337 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. And wide receiver Terry McLaurin made an outstanding catch, um, one of the best catches I've seen. The Bengals beat the Vikings 27-24 in overtime, and we have history in this game. Uh, This game was the first game to ever have the game tied with no time remaining in regulation and one with no time remaining in overtime. So the Vikings tied it with no time left in regulation, and the Bengals kicked a game-winning field goal in overtime. This was one of two games to go to overtime this week. Jamar Chase has a very good NFL debut. Five catches, 101 yards, and a touchdown. And he was the most targeted player on the Bengals. He has seven targets. The Seahawks beat the Indianapolis Colts 28-16. Carson Wentz did play in his return from the foot injury in the offseason. Wentz, Wentz's stat line was 28, uh, sorry, 20, 25 for 38, 251 yards, two touchdowns. Tyra Lockett had a, had a pretty good game, too, including an outstanding catch where he made a midair adjustment. Because like the ball was in midair, he made an adjustment to get himself in position to catch a touchdown pass. Lockett's stats... Four catches for 100 yards and two touchdowns. The San Francisco 49ers held off the Lions' comeback for the 41-33 win. Jimmy Garoppolo fumbled his first snap of the season. Um, and rookie quarterback, third overall pick, Trey Lance, threw his first NFL touchdown on his first NFL pass. Rookie running back, Trey Sermon, was a healthy scratch. Um, I did not agree with this decision with the 49ers because, one, it showed when Mostert got hurt. Yes, Elijah Mitchell 
was able to step up after Mostert went down with the injury. But the lead back from now on should be Sermon, but I don't really know. It looks like it may be Mitchell. But if I wanted to see a lead back of Jamichael Hasty, you want Elijah Mitchell, Mitchell, or Trey Sermon, it would definitely be Trey Sermon. So I hope he's the lead back for the 49ers in the next week, but you never know. Um, and Lions second year running back DeAndre Swift and free agent signing Jamal Williams both had very good games and both got a lot of work at running back DeAndre Swift 11 carries for 39 yards with 8 catches 65 yards and a touchdown and Jamal Williams 9 carries 54 yards and a touchdown and eight catches for 56 yards. The Arizona Cardinals beat the Tennessee Titans 38-13 in a game I thought a lot would be a lot closer. I was expecting maybe something like a 42-38 type game with an offensive shootout, but it was really just one team with the offense, the Cardinals. Kyra Murray had a very good game. Um, he went 21 for 32, 289 yards, Four touchdowns and an interception. And on the ground, he had five carries for 20 yards and a touchdown. The Cardinals were able to hold Derrick Henry in check, holding Henry to 17 carries for 58 yards. And Cardinals wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins made an unbelievable toe-tap catch at the back of the end zone. Sam Darnold wins his first game as a non-jet leading the Panthers to a 19-14 win. Darnold went 24 for 35 with 279 yards and touchdown. Christian McCaffrey had a great game, leading the Panthers in both rushing yards and receiving yards, and he finished the game with a total of 187 scrimmage yards, so rushing and receiving combined. Ricky quarterback Zach Wilson made his NFL debut going um, Zach Wilson won 20 for 37 with 258 yards, two touchdowns and an interception in his NFL debut. Uh, the Texans topped the Jaguars. 37-21 in Trevor Lawrence's NFL debut. Trevor Lawrence threw the ball 51 times. He went 28 for 51, 332 yards, three touchdowns, but he also had three interceptions. The Jaguars ran the ball only 16 times um, because they were trying to come back. Um, however, the, lead, the, re, the running back with the most carries was surprisingly not James Robinson. He only carried the ball five times for 25 yards. The lead back was Carlos Hyde, who led the team with nine carries. And Mark Ingram was the lead back for the Texans, 26 carries, 85 yards, and a touchdown. And the Texans have a lot of good running backs, plus they have a quarterback who can take off and run at any time, Tyrod Taylor. So the Texans' backfield consists of Ingram, Rex Burkhead, uh, Philip Lindsay, and David Johnson. So lots of notable names in the backfield, but Ingram was the lead back in this game. The Broncos beat the Giants 27-13. Saquon Barkley got 10 carries in his return from a torn ACL last season. And the Broncos' leading receiver in the game, Jerry Judy, is out for the next few weeks with a high ankle sprain, so hopefully Judy can recover very quickly and get back on the field. And Melvin Gordon had a 70-yard touchdown run to add to the Broncos' lead. Uh, the Dolphins beat the Patriots 17-16 in Mac Jones' NFL debut. Jalen Waddle caught his first NFL touchdown, and in the debut of Mac Jones, he went 29 for 39, 281 yards and a touchdown. The Chiefs and the Browns played another great game. Um, Patrick Mahomes went 27 for 36, 
337 yards and 3 touchdowns. Tyreek Hill caught 11 passes, passes for 197 yards and a touchdown. And Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill connected on a 75-yard touchdown pass. The Saints steamrolled the Packers 38-3. Jameis Winston had 5 touchdowns, although not even going over 200 yards. And Aaron Rodgers threw 2 interceptions in the game. Matthew Stafford leads the Rams past the Bears on Sunday Night Football. Stafford goes 20 for 26 with 321 yards and 3 touchdowns. Justin Fields scored his first NFL touchdown, but running the ball, um, he was also 2 for 2 throwing the ball. Um, And Matthew Stafford found Cooper Cup way deep in the secondary for a wide-open touchdown pass. And the Ravens and the Raiders played a great game on Monday Night Football. Um, It was the first game in Las Vegas for the Raiders with fans in the stands. Um, The Raiders won the game on a touchdown pass to wide receiver Zay Jones. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And go check out Sports News Episode 54 for some NFL injury updates. So like, subscribe, comment, check out Sports News. And I will see you Thursday for NFL Week 1, uh, sorry, Week 2 predictions.